All things were made through him and in him, and without him not one thing was made. And from his fullness have we all received grace upon grace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. All living creatures have a share of the divine creativity. All living creatures, including human beings, are given the will and the ability to build something from the ground up, something where before there was nothing. To accomplish this, a creature has to find the conditions and materials necessary to a safe and correct completion of the project. There has to be a vision to test, to try, to perhaps fail, and to learn from failure and improve next efforts. Birds build nests that are unique to each species and are architectural marvels. They recognize something in the environment that tells them in which aisle of God's Home Depot they are. As a carpenter and a cabinet maker, I put sticks together to build a house or a piece of furniture, sometimes not knowing in advance how the project is going to come together. Somehow, sea creatures find each other and create offspring. And though from the outset the lives of those offspring are threatened, somehow that some of them survive. The strange and beautiful thing about divine gifts is that we are not able to perceive their order and logic. It remains a mystery. The gifts, however, are relational, placing the creature in a dependent position, fulfilling God's purpose. Hear this from the Book of Wisdom. For all people who were ignorant of God were foolish by nature, and they were unable from the good things that are seen to know him who exists, nor did they recognize the craftsman while paying heed to his works. And this from the letter to the Romans. For what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them ever since the creation of the world. His invisible nature, namely his eternal power and deity, has been clearly perceived in the things that were made. Both of these texts insist that it is in God's creatures that God is recognizable to humankind. God's infinitude is expressed in the uncountable, particular, and unique ways in which divine gifts manifest. In our gospel lesson, language is used that some have said is beyond the power of humankind to speak. And yet, this was written only decades from the ground floor. Maybe that made this amazing language more accessible. We can still feel the power of the children of God in this language and in the myriad manifestations of divine gifts and of God moving into the neighborhood in this second Genesis. St. Benedict writes in chapter 53 of his rule for monasteries, let all guests who arrive be received like Christ, for he is going to say, I came as a guest and you received me. And to all let do honor be shown, especially to the domestics of faith and to pilgrims in the salutation of all guests, whether arriving or departing, let all humility be shown. Let the head be bowed in adoration of Christ, who indeed is received in their persons. It happens that at this time of year, many create all manner of decoration in their yards 
and around their houses. Some do get quite carried away. But all of that is a kind of exuberance of which we probably could use a little more. To me, the humble creche is still the most stirring image of our collective poverty, vulnerability, and dependence. All very human qualities taken on by the word as the word became flesh. It also happens at this time of year that a genuine spirit of generosity visits humankind and we enjoy the divine activity of gift giving and the creaturely humility of receiving gifts. As we pass through these dark days together, we could remember to be more conscious of pointing to Christ and being more like the one crying out in the wilderness. Yes, we can embody John the Baptist too and point to the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Building something where there was nothing or in some cases less than nothing because life and the conditions for life are non-existent or are being destroyed is one way that creatures reach towards God, the source of all creativity and life. The living creature reaches towards life and light, which is just biblical speak for moral rectitude and truth. Friends decide together spontaneously without negotiation or explaining themselves that of course that's what we will do together. Let's go. Such is the power of trust, cooperation, and creativity, the Holy Spirit. Trust in oneself and honor between oneself and others, the Christ. Trust in the sharing of gifts and the abundance of grace, God the Father. May all of us discover gifts in this season of Christmas beyond those gathered under Christmas trees. Amen and Merry Christmas.